For this video, I wanted to go over lag screws as this is yet another fundamental topic to understand prior to the start of an ortho rotation. So let's get right into it. Lag screws function to provide compression across a fracture site. They are ideally placed at 90 degrees to the fracture line and provide compression as the distal portion of the screw engages the distal fracture fragment and the head of the screw engages the proximal fragment. Lag screw placement is done with the aim to achieve absolute stability. You can have a lag screw by design or by technique. A lag by design screw means that you have a partially threaded screw. For these, you would simply drill, tap, then place, allowing for the threaded portion of the screw to engage the distal fragment. Then you can have a lag screw by technique, which is accomplished by drilling the core diameter in the distal fracture fragment and drilling to the thread diameter in the proximal fragment, thus allowing thread engagement only in the distal piece. As you can see here, this would provide compression across the fracture line similar to the partially threaded lag screw, however it is simply accomplished by drilling technique and thus is called lag by technique. Also as a small side note, I know that starting out I had a lot of questions, one of them being why you see screws placed with a tip sticking out of the other side as seen here. This is for maximum thread purchase. So the tapered end of the screw and the flute of the screw, which we learned about in our last video, can pass through to optimize your far cortex purchase with full threads. Okay, now back to our main topic. In both cases, you are going to want to countersink the head of the screw or place a washer in order to increase the surface area purchase on the near cortex for compression and to prevent a stress riser. Countersinking also prevents eccentric loading and thus prevents displacement of your aligned fracture. 